thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining our community. <laughs> we are we are happy to have you. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I'm I'm Deacons. I'm I'm let, let me let me open my, my camera. Hi, I'm Deacon. So nice to meet you. Yes. Yeah, this is the African community. We are recording this session because we also have other people who haven't joined, but they'll join. So yeah, it's it's nice to meet you finally, the man uh, and the legend <laughs> behind. <Such> a... <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yes. Uh, thank you, man. You guys are doing an amazing job. So we we are we are having the large African community joining from all over from Kenya, some in Nigeria. And so other people will be joining as we talk in, but the fact that we're recording, I think it's okay. Yeah, very good. Very ah, good. perfect. Yeah. I'll onboard you. Uh, yeah, as... that, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's nice. So maybe you can give us a slight introduction, who you are, what is the Toru, why yeah, did you sure. decide to build it Sparknet? Yeah. Yeah, and then we move from there. Sure. So uh I am Sparkit. Um I, I am um I am in crypto crypto world uh, for from now uh, three years uh, and one year on uh, Starknet. And uh, I started um I started uh contributing to uh, to uh, many projects on uh, only dust from last year and uh and I finally, uh, finally here, uh, building uh, Satoru with the help of uh, of all the all the community and contributors to build uh, one of the best. Uh, I hope one of the best uh, perpetual exchange uh, on the in the crypto in the crypto uh, in the crypto world. Yeah, that's that's nice. That that's amazing. So. Uh, you mentioned only dust. So you started last year working on only dust. Yeah, uh, uh -huh. I worked on um, uh, Madara, uh, uh, Dojo, um, Kakarot, uh -huh. and uh, okay. also I think yeah, um, Deoxys also. Like uh, oh, it's nice. more. Uh, Deoxys, it's a it's a full node client, uh, full node client uh, on Starknet. It's uh, it's also on only Dust. Ah, perfect, perfect. That, that, that's nice. So why why Starknet? Why why did you decide to build? Why did you decide to build Starknet? Decide to build like Satoru on Starknet? Uh, yeah, because uh, because uh, as we uh, as you know, uh, we we need to scale. Uh, Ethereum, it's not possible to uh, to now with the, with the fees we have on ethereum it's not very possible to 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 trade with low fees on ethereum so for me starknet is one of the best uh, one of the best uh, solution to uh, to uh, to help scaling ethereum and uh, and when when we when we think about low fees we also think about trading so what's what's wow. better than trading with low fees yeah that's better actually you're maximizing your profit <laughs> Yeah, so we, we are here. The intention of this uh, call with you today is for you to give us an introduction of uh, mm -hmm. Satoru, what it is, the architecture, yeah. because we've been running online classes and boot camps. And so we have devs who are quite conversant with Cairo. So we, we thought the, the best way for us to really contribute through the ecosystem is contributing to projects such as Satoru within the StackNet ecosystem. So you can give us an overview of what uh, Satoru is, how it works, and the best way developers can as well contribute through to Satoru via only Dust. Okay, sure. Uh, just I just want to know how much time do I have to explain uh, the the project because I can I can go uh, deep uh, deep on the details and I can uh, like I, I just manage my uh, my uh, my time uh, for speaking. Ah, uh, perfect. I I think we we can do for the next forty five minutes. So I think the entire call we we, we meant it for we wanted it to, to be like an hour. So you can just uh, have the flow for the next like forty five maximum of forty five minutes. So you you can divide it however. Okay. 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 So let's begin. Just share my screen. Uh, share. Okay. 
and, and as well, I think uh, if anyone has a question, they can drop it via yeah. the comments. So yeah, sure. I think I'll be able to raise it. Yeah. Not good for us at all. But if I'm right now, uh, sorry. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can continue. Okay, so. So what is Satoru? Uh, Satoru is a perpetual exchange on Starknet. Okay, so what is a perpetual exchange? This is the, this is the first question we that we have to answer. What is the uh, what is a perpetual exchange? So uh, in this protocol, we can uh, we can um, we can do uh, we can do three three uh, three uh, there is three uh, three features. Like the long, the short, the, the short and the swap. Okay, the two the two real main features are short and long. Okay, uh, so what is short and long? Short is uh, betting on the on the price of a token going up, and uh, short is uh, betting on the on the price uh, on the price of a token going down. Okay, this is this is a long and short. Okay, so we can. This is GMX, and Satoru is in, is uh, inspired by uh, GMX. So we we did the same uh, with the same uh, same infra uh, infrastructure as uh, GMX. So on GMX we have uh, here we have markets that we can trade. So here we can trade Avax, we can trade BTC, we can trade ETH. Okay, so this is. The tokens that we can trade, we can bet on on ETH going up or going down, and several other tokens. Okay, so this is a market. I'll just explain you how a market works. Okay, so a market a market is one smart contract. Okay, divided by two tokens, the long token and the short token. Okay, and we have also the index token. The index token is the token that we want to uh, that we want to trade. Okay, bet on the price uh, going up or bet on the price going down. Okay, so let's suppose here we want to trade ETH. Okay, so so this is the index token. Okay. So we're going to so the the yeah so this token we're going to trade. This is the long token. This is the token that will uh, that uh, the token that needs to pay out uh, people who profit on their index uh, index token trade. Okay, so if the price if the price of ETH going goes up, we're going to pay them out with this token. And the short token is uh, is in the same way the token that uh, that needs to pay out people that uh, that uh, that uh, people that um, that have their short position uh, people that have the the, the short uh, the short position that profits, okay. Okay, and usually um, the long the long token is the same as the index token. And the short token is usually the same as um, uh, is uh, sorry is usually a stable coin. So why? It is usually the short token is usually a stable coin because um, because if my index token uh, if my index token price goes down, I need to pay out people that sorry. I need to pay out people that uh, that uh, that. Um, that uh, bet on the price of the of the ETH going down, so I will pay them with a stable coin, because I know that that uh, it uh, its price will not uh, will not uh, will not uh, will not move, okay. And uh, in the same way, also if uh, if uh, if the if the ETH price will goes up uh, will go up, uh, I will be able to pay. To pay out people that uh, that have uh, that have uh, long positions, 
because also this token, which is the same as this one, goes up. So I'm able to pay to pay them out. Okay. Okay, so that's the two main features of a, of a perpetual exchange. If if you have questions, don't hesitate to uh, to uh, to tell me because it, it can be it can be a little complicated to understand this uh, this uh, this schema. So, and uh, so this is the two main features, and we can also have a leverage. Okay, so the leverage allows me to increase my position size. With the same collateral uh, collateral amount, okay. So it it also increases my 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 potential uh, profits, but but also increases my 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 risks to be uh, to be liquidated uh, liquidated uh, faster. Okay. So this is how this is this is how uh, how. Uh, how a perpetual exchange works uh, from from the high level. Um, I can go I can go uh, deep dive on the code, or you want to ask questions uh, just for this uh, just for this part. Yeah, I think I've told them if they have a question, they can drop via chat, but there is none right now. So. I'm assuming everyone has gotten the, the concept of perpetual swaps in terms of shorting and longing and leverage. So I think we can we can we can dive through the code as well. Okay, so okay, perfect. So let's go on the code. Okay. Uh, so the code is written in Cairo, obviously. <laughs> uh and uh, so okay we need to we need to understand just how uh, how how the infrastructure works uh let's suppose i want to i want to um uh, just deposit liquidity on a market okay like on a dex just work just deposit liquidity um uh i will so i will not directly uh, put liquidity on the market, but in the code, I first, I will first, so this is the user. The user will just create a deposit. Okay. So it will create a deposit, which is a function of smart contract. The smart contract will take the collateral of the user of the user and send it in a vault okay which is another smart contract just to keep keep the collateral amount okay send it to a vault and also it will uh, it will uh, it will uh, it will uh, put all the information all the data uh, about this deposit in uh, in a in a smart contract named data store okay which which contains all the details all the informations of this deposit of the deposit of this user like who is who is the who who is the the address that uh, that uh, that wants to uh, to uh, to uh, to make the deposit uh, in which market um, what is the amount of the collateral what is the what is the token that is, uh, what is the token uh, used as a, as a collateral? Okay. And next, next, there will be a backend, which is called the keeper, that will execute this deposit. You see, like the user just creates uh, like a a request to uh, to put. To put his money uh, in the market, like to make a deposit, and next, next the keeper will execute this uh, this uh, this uh, deposit. So the the keeper will check the will check the, uh, like the deposit request. Okay, he will take the vote and will execute the deposit, and he will send the money of the vote in the market so in the short or in the long 
depends on uh, on uh, uh, depends on the on the user. Okay, and this is the logic of all the orders, all the deposits, and all the withdrawal. So the user creates a deposit or creates an order or creates a withdrawal. Okay, like it creates a request. Okay, and next. A keeper, which is which is a backend, a backend, will check these uh, these uh, these uh, these uh, requests, these deposits, uh, orders, and uh, withdrawal, and will execute them. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have a question. So yep. we have a question. Someone has said, "Please clarify what the V represents." Ah, the V is vault. Oh, sorry, it's hard to write with the mouse. It's vault. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's vault. It's a. Uh, it's uh, like a like a bank. You see, like you just put the like the users. Uh, the user w wants to wants to put his money on the on the what he he wants to deposit his money um, in the market. Okay, as a, as a, as a liquidity provider. Okay, his his money will will not go directly on the market. It will. It will be uh, transferred in a vault. A vault is a smart contract just to contain money, or just to uh, to keep money, to keep the money. Uh, uh, to keep money, uh, uh, waiting from the keeper to to get this money from the vault and uh, send it to uh, send it to uh, to the market. Okay, like it's just a bank. It's it's like a bank account. Okay, is it clear? Yes, we have another one. Why do we use keepers in pubs instead of on-chain transaction, such as doing swaps on Uniswap? Yes, uh, because I'll go with uh, this schema. It's a little harder, but I'll explain you. This is the this is the whole infrastructure of uh, of the project. So you just have to you, you just have to know that Saturo is um, uh, is the open source project. Okay, it's the it's the um, it's the smart contracts and the keepers. Okay, this is the whole. Uh, this is the whole. Uh, the whole um, uh, infrastructure of uh, of uh, like a, a D app. Okay, uh, so we need keepers because uh, because um, because we need to check prices. Maybe this one is a little complicated. This one is better. So we need keepers because uh, we need to check to check prices with a very low latency okay a very low latency and very high frequency okay and we cannot we cannot have the we cannot have this uh, low latency uh, just with uh, just with um, with uh, on chain oracles okay we need to have off chain oracles to 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 check prices to have real time prices okay to execute or to execute uh, the transactions with the with the good with the with the with the right price with the good price, okay. This is the this is the whole infrastructure of the project. So we are going to use API uh, API Bara to in to uh, to get new blocks. New blocks. We put the, uh, we uh, we uh, we we send them to ingest. Okay, ingest is a is a. A message queue and workflow uh, workflow uh, software uh, and next uh, for each block for each block we're gonna get the keeper we're gonna get uh, uh, the keeper will get the prices on off chain oracles like um, a homemade oracle okay like a personal oracle of uh, of Saturo for example check prices from like Binance uh, CoinGecko and all other exchanges and uh, cryptocurrency uh, data aggregator. He will get the prices and execute uh, the orders and the, the withdrawal and deposit from the smart contracts with these good prices. Okay. So this is the whole. Perfect. The, well, yeah. So we're going to with API uh, API API bar. Are we going to check all the blocks? Okay. And for each block, for each block, we're gonna we're gonna so we're gonna check the events of uh, we're gonna check the events of uh, of a deposit orders or a withdrawal, 
okay, and execute them. Execute them. That's a uh, that's yeah that's a uh, really simplified but uh, okay. Perfect. So if we understand this uh, this uh, this logic, I think we can go on the code. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so the, we we have uh, we have uh, we have uh, we need to check. So we need to check the first, like the entry, the entry, the entry, the entry function, like the uh, the uh, we, uh, like the um, the functions that will that the user will call from the front end, uh, which is in the router exchange router. So as we can see here, we have create deposit, create withdrawal, and create order. Okay, we can see here exchange router, the file uh, which is the file that creates deposit, also cancel deposit, create withdrawal. Cancel withdrawal and the same for orders. When I say orders, it includes all the uh, long, short, liquidation, uh, and all the triggers like uh, stop loss, uh, increase the collateral, decrease collateral, all of this. Okay. Okay, so this is the functions. Uh, we need to go, so the these functions call calls, sorry, uh, create deposit, tac, tac. Okay, so this function will call another create. It's the same for create uh, deposit, withdrawal, and um, and, uh, or, and order, okay? They will call another function with the same name in the handlers. And the handlers are in exchange, okay? We have the deposit handler, that will create a deposit here. We have in the same way, the withdrawal handler here, create withdrawal. Okay. And cancel withdrawal. Okay. So this is these are the, the, the and in the same ways for orders, create and update order, cancel, and next I will go to execute. Okay, this is this is how to create an order or uh, how to create an order or a withdrawal or a deposit. Okay. Uh, okay. So this is the function that the, that the user will call. So now we need to execute uh, execute uh, execute these uh, these uh, these requests, these orders, the deposit, withdrawal. And to execute, we have also in the same file the execute function. Execute order, and the execute function will will. Only be uh, can only be called uh, by the keeper. Okay, it will. Uh, there is a there is a role uh, role uh, role contract, which is this one, which is responsible to uh, to keep. It's like in solidity. It's it's, it's like um, it's like um, uh, like a, uh, only only controller. I think. Yeah, like uh, just to give roles, like uh, to uh, to to uh, to um, to, uh, to 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 keep the function uh, to keep the function public, but cannot be called by anyone by uh, by uh, by uh, by anyone, just just by whitelisted accounts that have the role. Okay, and the execute functions here in in uh, in um, in the 
exchange file here, like in order, the execute functions here, execute order, can only be called, can only be called by the, by the, by the keeper. You can see here, uh, role module, uh, role module state dot only keeper, only order keeper. In the same way, if we go to execute, execute, sorry. Yes, execute, you can see here, I roll module only control can, no, this is this one, this one. I roll module only other keeper can call this function. Mm -hmm. So we have, uh, what can I show you next? Uh, we have the role. Yeah, this is the role, the role contract. We can see we have a, we can grant role, revoke role, assert only role, get role accounts, get roles. Okay, this is this is the mo the, the module responsible of the roles. Um, uh, if we can, we can, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can, we can take uh, a lot of hours on the code. Huh? But I just want you to to see just how just how the the main things works, and all the other files uh, are here to like to complete uh, to complete our other files. Okay. Um, here we have the liquidation file with the create liquidation order. Um, can I show you next? This is the one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Remember when I when I asked uh, when I told you that uh, when a user creates a deposit or creates a withdrawal or creates um, uh, an order, we are uh, we will store all the data, all the informations related to this uh, to this uh, request in this g this g is the data store okay it's a smart contract res responsible for uh, the storage of the of the of the requests okay deposit withdrawal and orders and here in data data store we have this uh, this uh, uh, this contract. So we can store felt two five two. We can store u two uh, two uh, two five six or two hundred sixty uh, fifty six. We can store uh, u uh, u uh, thousand twenty eight. We can store addresses. We can store um, yeah addresses here. We can store bool boolean. We can store markets, set markets, get market. We can store markets. We can we we store orders. When you create an order, you can you 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 you, you set. You create when you create an order, you set an order to you set your order to a key. I'll see here set order. order. This file, uh, this function, um, uh, this function uh, is, uh, will assign will assign your order to a key. And next, okay, so yes, this function will assign your uh, your order or your deposit, like set deposit or set withdrawal, will assign this uh, this order to a key. Okay, and the key is a filter to uh, to to uh, to um, fifty two, and next the keeper will call the get order function with the right key to get your uh, your uh, your uh, your uh, your order and execute it. Okay. Yes, and. Uh, yeah, here we have we have the as I as I said the vault. 
here we have the vault which which is called bank a bank is the is the is the is the um, bank is is the con is is like the main contract okay and there is a lot of contracts that in in uh, inherit from uh, from the bank uh, from the bank uh, contract okay so bank just have just have transfer out function yes uh, just have transfer out function which is the function need uh, needed uh, needed to uh, to get uh, to get uh, uh, to to take the money from the from the vault and send it transfer it to the market oh yeah to the market by the keeper okay and what are the contracts that inherit from uh, from uh, from this uh, from this uh, from this uh, contract from bank obviously it will be deposit vault withdrawal vault and order vault or maybe just deposit vault um, yeah no no uh, deposit vault here we have deposit vault. We can see that deposit vault inherits from. Uh, okay, let me see here. Yeah, because we can see here, it will call. Uh, it will call. Uh, it will call a uh, strict bank functions. Okay, transfer out here. Record transfer in to uh, to, to know to uh, like to uh, to monitor uh, how. Um, just do um, uh, monitoring to see uh, how how much money how much money goes in and goes out. <coughs> same thing, the same thing for um, order vault and withdrawal vault. Yeah, uh, I think we're good with the contracts if you have questions these are the main uh, the main things you need to know to uh, to get into the to get into the project to start to to be able to start contributing because now uh, if you want if you, if you don't have an uh, ETA of the of the project like the current current state of the project uh, we are we already finished all the smart contracts um already finished all the smart contracts yes uh, we have a question uh someone is looking where is the code for the keeper so maybe you can just take us to the Sorry, code for the keeper i was about to forget it uh the keeper so uh the keeper is oh sure this is the satoru uh, repo for the smart contracts okay and um we have another repo for the for the for the keepers. Uh, I just uh, all right here. Keepers, keeper well, here. Satoru keepers. Okay, but uh, uh, we need to we need to we need to update it because uh, because uh, because um. We uh, first we we wanted to um, at the beginning we wanted to uh, to implement the um, the keepers uh, in uh, Rust, but next with the infrastructure uh, that we that we've talked about with the with the team, uh, we need to use TypeScript uh, for the keepers. Okay, so the smart contracts in Cairo and the keepers in TypeScript. Uh, why TypeScript? Because uh, to execute to execute all these uh, all these uh, all these uh, all these requests, as like uh, if I can say requests, um, we need to uh, we need to uh, we need to index we need to index um, all the events. Uh, yeah, we need to uh, index. All the events of the of the of the of the we need to sorry we need to index all the events of the smart contract. So here we use API uh, API bar, okay, to index all the events of the smart contract, okay, and this event will be stored in the database, okay. An event is when you create deposit, 
it will emit an event. When you create an order, it will emit an event. When you create um, a withdrawal, it will emit an event. And all these events will be stored in a database, okay, in this database. Next, with also with API bar, which is the TypeScript SDK, uh, we will push a new. We will uh, we will push the new block in ingest, which is a message queue to have workflow. Uh, push the new blocks generated created uh, by the sequencer. Okay, and at each block. At each block, the keeper will get the prices and execute execute uh, execute the the orders, the withdrawal, and the deposit that are in the database that are not yet that are not yet executed. It he will execute them. Okay, so here we with the with the events we fill the database. Okay, and at each block we execute. The orders, the withdrawal, and the deposits that are in the database. So yeah, so the keeper, uh, the keeper, um, the keeper, uh, the keeper repo is not uh, is not uh, is not updated yet, yeah. but it will be in uh, in TypeScript. Yes. Yeah, so we have another question. What are some of the safety measures usually implemented by PUPS protocols? Sorry? And maybe the safety measures know. implemented by Sator, yeah. The? What are some of the safety measures usually implemented by PUPS protocol? So like security features that Satoru has uh, implemented. Ah, the safety, okay. Uh... Like what are the potential no. pitfalls and how is Satoru dealing with them like when implementing a perpetual protocol? What are the what? Sorry, I, okay, I didn't stand you. Yeah, uh, it is what are some of the safety like security features that is implemented in a perpetual protocol such as Satoru? Like where, where are the like security inclined features to ensure that something does not really go wrong for example uh, wrong data is not entered or something like security measures that you enacted within the protocol oh uh, i can't really answer because uh, uh what can i say um like on this in the smart contracts uh everything like we we the smart contracts everything everything should everything is is well secured i don't know exactly how to ask this question because uh, because um like uh I've, like yeah, I, I get uh, it. It's some. I don't know vague. if you understand, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I understand. It's, uh, it's, it's secure, too big. It's very yeah. It's too big and it's a very detailed question. It's very uh, it, yeah. It's so open ended, so you so cannot open, like yeah. pinpoint to 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 yeah, a specific. Can, yeah. Just just fix fix uh, fix uh, all the all the all, because now we're because we. We uh, we uh, we uh, we 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 got inspired by uh, by the implementation of uh, GMX, okay? And GMX is very well secured, and uh, we did this like the same implementation, and um, and uh, yeah, we we are testing it and uh, testing and uh, and trying to uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to, uh, to cover all uh, all the security uh, all the secu security uh, measures. Yeah, so maybe what are some of the like uh, beginner friendly issues that maybe developers can start contributing some of the things that you're looking for, and yeah, as yeah. we wind up. <laughs> so as as I said, as, as I said, said um, uh, we have now finished the uh, smart contracts. We are fin we are, we have finished implementing the smart contracts, 
and uh, and um, we need now to test all of this. Uh, we have here, uh, yeah, it's, we have we yeah we need to we need to add uh, other issues or maybe uh, just or maybe uh, uh, in assign uh, some people from these issues because uh, they have it now for from a long period. Going, but yeah, we're going to add issues and issues are will will uh, will uh, will will be testing issues. Okay, I'll show you an example. Uh, sorry, showing example. Now let's take current issue now. For example, this issue, exchange router. It will be like this. So we we need to test exchange router. So you go to you go to uh, test folder. Uh, exchange router. What's it here? Exchange router. Yeah. So you, you can see here the file doesn't exist. So you, you we need to 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 add the file of uh, test exchange router and test exchange router. It is this. Is this contract and you need to take uh, to test uh, as many uh, as many uh, scenarios and uh, and uh, features as you can and in the review uh, we'll uh, we'll tell you if you you can add more uh, more scenarios uh, or uh, or if you have um, you have uh, some uh, some details to fix and. Uh, Yeah, so we will add we will add uh, we'll add new uh, new uh, new issues, but yeah, uh, it will be uh, testing issues, like uh, unit tests. Ah, fine, fine, perfect, perfect. So developers should like check out the new issues that will be uh, will be implemented. We we are uh, also someone. Doing... Sorry. Continue. Yeah, we are also doing integration tests. Okay, like uh, just. Not just the uh, not just the uh, the uh, the unit test of uh, on one or two function, but uh, like uh, yeah, uh, like we uh, we want to uh, to to make a scenario like uh, uh, we want to test uh, the like for example the swap. Okay, so to have a swap, I need to uh, I need to deposit liquidity in the market. I need to create a market, deposit liquidity in the market, and next make my swap. You see, like it's it's uh, yeah, it's a uh, integration test, okay, to uh, to uh, to test uh, to test a big scenario. It's not to, it's not exactly an end to end test, but uh, from the contracts level, it's we can say it's an end to end test. Ah, perfect. I think that, that that works. Yeah. So we have a final question. Quite curious how you implemented the leverage feature. Sorry? How did you implement leverage feature? Uh, leverage feature, like in the code? Yeah, maybe you can just like talk about it, how it's implemented in the code. Yeah, um, I need to check this. Uh... The leverage is in position, uh, increase position, increase position. It's long, I need to, uh, to look for it. Uh, with... mm -hmm. I need to check it. Uh, can't really give you an answer now. I have it's to. Okay. It's break. okay. I think we can. We can also like. Yeah. If you have, more if you have yeah. any question, uh, don't hesitate to uh, to ping me on the Telegram. I just yeah. now there's some things I just need to. Uh, I don't want to uh, to give you a wrong answer, but. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. That, that's nice. Uh... Our time is up. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much. Yeah.
yeah it, it has flown like it's we, we really we really appreciate it the yeah, fact that you, you you came here sacrifice your time to take us to the code and answer a, a number of questions yeah so mm -hmm. we will be hopefully we'll be able to like dive into the code and contribute more as the Starknet Africa team and then we see how everything goes right otherwise thank you so much unless you have something final to say yeah the floor is yours yeah uh, don't hesitate to con to to contribute and uh yeah i just want to show you just one thing uh for the people who like to do uh, front end uh because it's it's uh, Everything that I show you here is uh, is a uh, backend, like for the smart contracts and the uh, and the backend of uh, the keepers. Uh, you can also check, you can also check uh, the front end repo. You can see, uh, you can find it on. Uh, I'll send. It, uh, yeah, you can find it on the readme of the of the Saturu repo here with Zoal. Okay. This so all and is the front end of Sato because yeah because you just need to you you just need to know that Satoru is an open is the open source project okay it's a public good of smart contracts and keepers and uh, Zoal here Zoal uh, is the business uh, built on top of Satoru and uh, I. I am a member of, uh, of the team and co-founder of uh, Zoal and uh, also Zarbok, which, uh, which was supposed to present the, the presentation today, is the other co-founder of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Saturo, which, is, which, which will be the dApp deployed on Starknet. So the dApp will be called Zoal. And uh, and and uh, and yeah, and you can also contribute in uh, in Zoal interface. Uh, yeah, Zoal interface. Uh, and it's also uh, paid on uh, on Didust. Ah, uh -huh, perfect. That's, uh, yeah, that that's nice. That's nice. Thank you so much for the information. Uh, I'm not seeing. Yes, yeah, uh, guys. Front end too. It's it's being paid via only Dust, and here's the link. He he has posted so. Again, so much thanks from you and the Satoru team for the amazing work. It's amazing work that you've done, and we are really grateful that you are able to, to, to come here and talk to us through the code. Thank you so much. And so, guys, if you have any other question, you'll be able to like ping Spaget via Telegram, and he he answers every text because I, I, I we haven't met, but I, but we talked, so yeah, he'll be able to respond to all the questions that you have. Thank you, Spaghetti. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, guys, thank you. That that marks the end of our community call together with the uh, Spaghetti over here. So, again, thank you so much. Enjoy your evening. We'll be able to dive into the code more and contribute more to this space and the Saturday team at large. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Spaghetti, a lot. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.